Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about performing an automated recon enumeration using a script utility called Nmap Automator. I want to send a big shout out and a thank you to the developer for this wonderful script program, 21Y4D, who has a great GitHub channel. And if you want to see some more interesting development that this individual has done, I will post his profile or the link to his profile up inside of the description. For those of you that stick around long enough to see this video in its entirety, you're going to see some excellent features that are inside of this Nmap Automator. It, it is a really excellent utility to have as a pen tester, as a hacker, or as a exam candidate for the OSCP. For this lab, I will be using one virtual install of Kali Linux, one virtual install of Metasploitable 2. I got a good internet connection, and I have ensured that both my virtual machines have their VirtualBox network settings set to NAT network. As always, first things first, let's make sure that our installation of Kali has been updated, upgraded, and it is the latest and the greatest from our good friends over at Offensive Security. Nmap Automator does require that Ghostbuster be installed inside of your Kali installation, so make sure that we do that next. At the prompt, just type in app-get space install space Ghostbuster. When you got everything typed in correctly, just go ahead and hit enter. I already have it installed, so you can see that I already have the latest and the greatest version of Ghostbuster installed on my Kali. Next thing you want to do is just go ahead and close out your terminal. Now the next thing that we're going to do is create our folder for the script application Nmap Automator. To do this, just right click anywhere on your desktop and you're going to create a new folder. Once you've got that new folder created, you're just going to call it Nmap Automator. You can see that I have my folder over here. Now once you have your folder created, go ahead and open it up. You're going to right click inside of the right window pane and you're going to create a document new empty file and you're going to name this new blank file nmap automator period sh once you have that file created go ahead and close your folder now let's go up here to the application quick launch menu and let's open that up and from the context menu let's open a web browser from here we're going to go on out to the download site for this particular script Again, I will put in the URL into the description so you know where to go. You can also use Google to search for GitHub space Nmap Automator and it will give you the link. Once you have the site opened up, go ahead and scroll down just a little bit. And here you're going to see where the developer has pasted in the code. Now we want the raw code. So we're just going to click on this button that says raw. That's going to take us over here to where we can actually now copy and paste this code into that new blank file we created. So I'm going to put my mouse anywhere inside of this white area. I'm going to hold down my control key and hit A. That's going to select everything. Now to copy everything, I'm just going to hold down my control key and I'm going to press the letter C. You can minimize your browser. And back on the desktop, let's open up that folder for Nmap Automator. Now go ahead and double click that blank file that we created earlier called Nmap Automator.sh. Just double click it. And what you're going to do inside of this file, inside of the blank window space, is just place your mouse, right click, and then you're going to select Paste. Once you've done that, you're just going to go up here to File. And you're going to do a save. Once you've saved everything, just close out the file. And now you can close out the folder for Nmap Automator. Our next step is to open up the Nmap Automator inside of a terminal. Now to do this easily, I'm just going to right click on the folder. And from the context menu, I'm going to say or select Open Terminal here. That opens up the folder up inside of our terminal and we see that our prompt shows that we are now inside of the nmap automator directory 
Next, we can show the contents of the directory for Nmap Automator just by typing ls at the prompt. We hit enter. And you'll notice that I have two items inside of my folder. Now, your directory will only have one item, and that should be the Nmap Automator.sh file. I currently have another directory for a previous scan that I conducted using the Nmap Automator. The next thing we have to do is take that script that we just created and make it an executable. To do this, I'm going to change the permissions for the file using the change mod utility. So I've typed in change mod space small letter u plus small letter x space the name of the script that I want to make executable, which in this case is nmapautomator.sh. Now once you have everything typed in correctly, go ahead and hit enter and it should return to the terminal letting you know that your command completed successfully. Now the next step we need to do is create our target. In this case I'm using Metasploitable 2. Go ahead and launch that from your virtual box and at the prompt when you're ready type in the username and password of MSF admin and again for the password. Now when you're logged in do an IF config and find the IP address for your Ethernet Zero adapter. In this case, my IP address is 10.0.2.11. Your address will probably differ. Now, once you have that done, go ahead and minimize your virtual install of Metasploitable 2. Now, to run the script, we must be inside of the directory for which the script resides. Now, to see the help menu and to see what different scans that you can actually run with the Nmap Automator, you can type in period forward slash nmapautomator.sh space dash h and that will bring up the help menu. For this example I've typed in period forward slash nmapautomator.sh space the IP address of the target space and the type of scan that we're going to be running which is the all scan. Once you have everything typed in correctly just go ahead and hit enter. And immediately it returns very quickly the quick scan that we would normally get from an Nmap scan. And it's continuing on with these other scans that are available for us. So now it's starting the Nmap basic scan. And the next scan that it brings up is the Nmap UDP scan. And here it's also going to bring us and show us some of the CVE exploits or vulnerabilities that are currently present on Metasploitable 2. Now of course the idea is that while you're conducting this long scan of 20 to 30 minutes you already have enough information from the quick scan the basic scan to get you started with looking at what ports are currently available and what's currently running on those ports. In the developers comments he mentions that he developed or he built this particular script so that while he was taking the OSCP he wouldn't have to waste any time with conducting his recon and enumeration. Now all told the scan is going to take you somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes to finish everything. And once you have everything done you've got a nice surprise waiting for you when you go back into the default directory for Nmap Automator. So I'm back on my desktop here and I finished the scan I go into my folder and there's a directory of all the scan results. Now if I open up this directory, you'll see that I have two additional subfolders. One is for Nmap and one is for the recon that was conducted using different tools other than Nmap. But we can open up the Nmap folder and you'll see that I have all these different scans that were conducted using the Nmap Automator. Go back one level. Up inside the recon folder, these are all the different additional tools that were used to scan the target. So you can see that this is a very robust utility and it can give you a lot of good information about enumeration of the target so that when you're ready you will have all the information at your fingertips. And so if you're a pen tester or a network administrator or somebody who just needs to keep good records of the results of their scans on the network then you have those scans broken down for you in these individual text files making it easier for you to compile that report. Again another big shout out to the developer who 
created this wonderful script program, 21Y4D. Your efforts have not gone unnoticed, and they are much appreciated. And so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about performing an automated recon and enumeration of a target using Nmap Automator. So if you've got any questions, you've got any concerns, don't hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.